Welcome to Teesside International Airport. Located near Darlington, in the northeast of England, the airport serves the Greater Teesside region as well as swathes of County Durham and North Yorkshire. Recently taken into public ownership and renamed by the local authority after a protracted period of decline, Teesside International has been making a concerted effort to improve its usefulness and offering to the people of the Tees Valley region, and it now sees around six passenger flights leave per day to various domestic and European destinations, serving an expected 170,000 passengers this year. But it's a very safe bet that almost none of those passengers arrived to the airport by train. In November, the Office of Rail and Road published their station usage statistics for the April 2021 to March 2022 period, and coming in as the effective second least used rail station in the country was Teesside Airport Station, with a whopping total of 42 passengers in the whole year. Ask anyone who knows the station though, and they'd probably say, that's more than you'd expect. So what gives? How can even a modest airport rail station be so underused? Let's go and look at the station to find out. Here's the first problem. The station is located around a mile from the airport terminal, requiring a good 15 minute walk through the airport's bleak industrial estate. There's no shuttle bus, no signs to tell you where to go, and there aren't even any pavements. This might be a good point to mention that the rail operator's website recommends you don't take the train. Once you arrive at the station itself, you see that it couldn't really be any more basic if it tried. There are no timetables to consult, but if you did, you would encounter the next problem. For years, the station has only been served by one train a week, on a Sunday in one direction only. This is a parliamentary train, meaning the rail operator would really like to close the station, but since that's such an inconvenient process, they instead run a bare minimum skeleton service so inconvenient that no one will ever use it, in order to meet their basic legal requirements and nothing more. The stupid thing is that the station itself is well located on a line that connects the major Teesside towns of Redcar, Middlesbrough, Stockton and Darlington. But unfortunately, the station's distance from the airport itself, on top of its general and quite obvious state of disrepair, means it's become more trouble than it's worth for everyone involved. The footbridge has been closed since 2017 to save on maintenance costs, and in May 2022, it was announced that the entire station was closed after having been deemed unsafe. This is not how an airport rail link should be. And the future doesn't look bright. It will be extremely difficult, not to mention expensive, to either repair or relocate the station to a more convenient location. And so everyone, except perhaps those 42 passengers, has given up on Teesside Airport Station entirely. And to be fair, I can't say I really blame them. It's just rubbish. If you enjoyed this video, it would really help the channel out if you hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more railway and transport related content in and around the Northeast, subscribe to Edificity. Thanks.